We're going to graph the quadratic formula function that is in vertex form right here. Now, this is actually a really simple thing for graphing. You have to remember y equals a x minus h squared plus k. And from there, you have to realize from this formula, okay, a tells you a whole bunch of stuff. A is very important. A in this particular one is negative 3. And hk is your vertex. So for this particular problem, your vertex, well, see this negative right here? That means opposite of. This means normal. So your vertex is actually going to be the opposite of 2, which would be negative 2, 4. So negative 2, 1, 2, and up 4. Negative 2, 4, that is my vertex. Now my graph is going to be a parabola. We should know that because of a squared. And this negative 3 tells us what we have to do next. Basically, the shortcut for this is this a value tells you what you do when you go one step over, two step over. So if I want to plug in, say, if I want to make the, find my next point, negative 3. You basically, okay, go over 1, and that means you're going to go down 1, 2, 3, because it's negative. You're going to go over 1 and go down 3. Okay, the reason you got that, you basically are thinking this a value, negative 3, blank squared. Now, for the first increment over is 1. So negative 3 times 1 squared is just negative 3. But if you do negative 3 times 2 squared, meaning two steps over, well, that's going to be negative 3 times 4 would be negative 12. So what's interesting here, from here you basically got your basic graph. But if you did the next dot, when you go two steps over, so one, two, I'm going to go down 12. And that tells me how far down you're going to go. So you go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh boy, I'm way down here. And then this one's going to be down 12 as well. And then you have your nice parabola. Okay. Now, not all teachers care about getting these points. Just these is enough to get the graph. But it's kind of nice. Is basically, you just take the equation and you plug in 1. OK, so it's a, negative 1, negative 3 times 1 squared, negative 3 times 2 squared. And if I wanted the third step over, so I go three steps over, that would be a 3 squared, which would be 9. So it would be negative 27. So when we go three steps over, you go negative 27 down. It's a cool little trick. Now, one more thing. What you got to realize, your a value, this value is very important. If that value is negative, it's sad. It's frowning. So when your a value is negative, it's a sad little parabola. When your a value is positive, it's a happy little parabola. So you can think of it as happy little guy, sad little guy. And then also, if this value is negative, I mean, sorry, if this value the absolute value of it, look at the number. If it's a bigger number, say like 3, do you understand? 3 means you're going to go down 3, which means it's a lot narrower. Where if a value is like 1 half, it means you go over 1, down a half, which means it gets quite a bit wider. So this a value, the number in front, tells you quite a bit. It tells you how wide or narrow. It tells you if it's happy or sad. Okay, But you can also use that just to go one step over, and that number tells you how far up or down you go. Again, if that was positive 3, you'd be going up 3.